And Debra. And we have special guests back again. What up? It's Kate. Danny. Yeah. And we're here for another episode of What's in the Box. And we have Universal Yums, one of our favorites. So cool that they even picked one up. And so... Twice. We've been doing these cool openings together. So, let's see what's in uh, these... Uh, Let's take a second to share, just for a minute, Ready? since I'm I learning. I not bring my device. That's okay. Nope, I can't do anything that I want to do. All right, y'all, if anyone knows how to still start a watch party on Facebook, let us know, because it's not happening. You're peeking. I'm peeking. It's from Italy, y'all. Um, so Yum Yums are no longer doing the secret clue on the outside. Um, they now just flat out tell you, this yum's coming from Italy, which is one of my favorite countries that I've ever been to, so I'm super excited. Can you try it? Can you try it? Let's do it. All right, we're going. We're opening the box. <gasps> it's Italy! Oh, man. Oh, snap. Ooh, what a thunk. <gasps> All right. Okay. Save some money on the Universal Yums. There you go. Yeah. Greetings from Italy. There's a nice sticker that's uh, Donna lost on it. It's the Mona Lisa with the uh, chocolate face. So a really interesting thing. I've actually been to the winery where um, the Mona Lisa was painted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happened. Okay, Italy. We've got our Italy. This is our Italy card. And on the back, there's the scoreboard. But we don't do that. We like the old-fashioned way, which is um, to... Do best yum, second best, worst, and weirdest. All right. Hello, Miss Rebel Flames. What do you mean you can't hear us? Can you still not hear us? Is this plugged in? You just heard it. Yeah. Okay. We're groovy. All right. So here we go. A little savory first. Want to do the big one, y'all? Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, that delicious. Yeah. But this is. Hi, Sarah Bauer. Oh, hi, Sarah. Let's see. Oh, there it is. This is a tomato and oregano bruschetta. Or bruschetta, if you say it, you know, fancy like bruschetta. Bruschetta. Oh, those are this is your scrumptious yeah, ticket to Rome. Yeah. So like yours Whoa. isn't as messy. They, yeah. They look like uh, dried bagel bites. <laughs> dried bagel bites. What do they smell like? Dried oh, bagel bites. Oh, they're adorable. You have to show the folks at home. Right. They're the cutest things. Oh my gosh. See, it's like a little, little, little. And then the bottom is all definitely bruschetta like. And with that funky topping, it sounds really crunchy though. So yeah. give it a go, y'all. It's definitely going to be crunchy. Ding, ding, mm -hmm. dock. There they go. Can you hear them crunching? Got some nodding, got some loving. I could sit down and eat a bag of these. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eat a bag. Yeah. It's, like a, it, it's like a mini pizza. Yeah. Right. So you can eat those as is. I can see this being dipped in something. Oh, yeah. yeah. What would you dip mm -hmm. it in? Cheese. Cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come back over here, love. Just Case wow. of wanders. It has like a little like a I'm mess just leaving in the me. middle of it too. Come yeah. on, Warrior Goddess shirt on, y'all. Yeah, she does. Come on, we'll present that shop in case you were wondering. Um, okay, Crunch Munch. Yeah, it absolutely is a Crunch Munch. Okay, what, what what's next? Oh, let's do this one. Truffle potato chips, y'all. Mm. Right, Lisa? John will eat these. Yeah, so there we've go. got some Italian black truffle potato chips. Not everyone likes truffle. They do grow in Italy. There's a truffle season, and when you go there, if you're eating food, everyone is like, you want truffle on that? You just say yes, y'all. Say yes. Just it's say yes. delicious. So good. Fresh truffle. Not just truffle oil or truffle sprinkles. Okay, go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's 
So did you know that Italy's version of the black truffle grows underground? Underground, y'all. I didn't know that. These are really good. Locals spend hours scouring for But there's like a forth. punch to it. It's, yeah. That's it's the thing. truffle. There's like a huge, and it's like. The truffle will punch a hole. I smell it. It smells like, like, mm -hmm. like truffle. Y'all, if you've had fresh truffle, it smells just like it. I've never had wow. truffle, and now Same. I need That's to have more. That's the most, yeah, it like, is. thick potato chip that doesn't look thick at all. It looks like a regular potato chip. Yeah. But, but it will like, smack you in your face. The no, truffle. I, mean, yeah. I smell it. It smells but like truffle. Okay, so locals spend hours scouring forests with trained dogs in the hopes that they'll sniff some out. All the effort is worth it, as it's one of the most valuable foods in all of Italy. A 3.3 pound truffle from Tuscany once sold for $330,000. Yeah. And you just are eating it on a potato chip like it's nothing, y'all. Mm -hmm. Just it some was, respect to the truffle. It was delicious. Yeah. Right? So these are ketchup potato chips. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. I love yes. ketchup potato chips. Mediums have ketchup potato chips that are yep. amazing. This is currently the number one chip brand in Italy. Yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. Like chips. chips. Can't get into that one, huh? Oh, there we go. Alright, they look ketchupy. They're, they're they rather smell ketchupy. They smell ketchupy. Yeah, they do. That's like a bag of like a ketchup. So truffle pigs are a different kind of truffle. They look for others there. Yes, but these are dog truffles and they're under the ground. Yeah. Truffle pigs can find them on the, the forest floor growing kind of truffle too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's an interesting story. Go ahead, eat your ketchup chips, man. From the number one chip brand in Italy. Oh. That's another pow. Pow? Mm -hmm. As soon as it touches your tongue, it's like, bam. Exactly. Okay. Well, flavor. this is our last savory treat for this oh, box man. as well. That is. So we are, so, ooh, that smells like ketchup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is like ketchup. Like mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. There's yeah. a very intense ketchup at the back of your throat afterwards. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, Everybody that's... need to rinse. Little palate oh, yeah. cleanser mm -hmm. there. Because mm -hmm. we're switching to sweet stuff. That's my sweet stuff shimmy. I just made it up. Let's do it. Sweet stuff shimmy. Okay. Shall we have some amaretto teeny? Crisp almond cookies. Crisp almond amaretto. I got, can't find them. I lost them. Oh, there they are. Yeah. <clears throat> the tastiest almond cookie in all of Italy. This sounds like something you'd want to have with a nice espresso in the afternoon, right? For your little snacky. <laughs> January. Oh, yeah. Julia, tune in in January and I will be tasting again. I know, I'm very expressive. They don't make as many faces. Oh, my God. Here. But I'm trying to. Here they're so little. They're adorable, right? See, they're, they're all expressive. They're like yeah. the little chips of oil guys. They're like chips of yeah. oil. You just dump them into a bowl and you with some cereal. Right, they I might do that. Really good. Depending yeah, on they how they are. Yeah, they smell delicious. Right. Mm. Yup. Bowl milk. Oh, man. These are really good. No Those are amazing. No okay, I have to tell you a love story. Mm -hmm. The world's tastiest love story. The tale behind these classic cookies begins in 1719 Serrano, when a young couple overheard that a cardinal from Milan was visiting their church. Wanting to prepare him a treat, they improvised a cookie recipe using just the apricot kernels, sugar, and egg whites they had on hand. The cardinal loved them so much so, he blessed the couple to a long, happy union. Not only did they stay happily hitched, but their cookies went on to become an Italian icon. Are you feeling the love? Are you tasting yeah. the love? Oh, oh yeah, you can literally taste the love. You can taste the love. Same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was really good. That's a perfect. That's what she said joke, but they made it so easy I couldn't do it. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Thanks. Okay. These are cranberry farletti. Farletti? Mm hmm. So many countries prefer their cookies soft and chewy, like me. Um, but Italy is the exception. They like crunchy cookies. Noticing. Yeah. I know, right, Sarah? No one can open the bags. Right. They're tough. 
They have. They do have a scissor mark on them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We could get some. I don't know. It's like a little right pastry now. puff. All right, pastry yeah. puffs. Pastry puffs of cranberry mm. crunchiness. Mm -hmm. So Italians would dunk these mm -hmm. into their wine, their coffee. Milk is their last choice. So like wine or coffee, they would dunk these cookies yeah. and, and scrunch them. Mm -hmm. Those would be so great in tea. In tea, mm -hmm. yeah. They're yeah. going yeah. in tea later. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got my mushroom tea in the mail yeah. today. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. I had some this morning for breakfast. Uh -huh. I have mushroom tea. What kind of mushroom tea are you making today? Uh, chaga. 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 Doctor ordered chaga. I'm going to drink it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Cookie or you want to switch to a cakey? There's a cakey. It's a gorgeous little cakey. Let's have cakey. I love cakey. Oh, man. Yeah, you do love cakey. Mm. They're orangey and carroty, apparently. Mm. All right, uh, orange cake. Sorry, mm. I got distracted. What was I? Sounds okay. Orange carrot. Uh, it is a mm. marvelously moist carrot oh. cake with citrus zing. So this much. looks so good. Oh, my goodness. Get ready to discover a oh whole my. new kind of carrot cake craving. It's got layers here. Oh my oh. goodness, y'all. It smells like here heaven. to appreciate the layers. Like, I think nobody does cake like Italy, really. They, they have cake for breakfast. Gorgeous. Not super sweet, right? Like an oil cake, an olive oil cake, or something like that. that. But yeah. you just you did dig it in already. There's huh? another one. Yeah. There's yeah. two. Yeah, so you, you can have one later. Uh, oh, so it's no got a cake for you tonight. Like an Italian cake. It's very spongy. All right, All right pop it in the there. Hi, love. Liz is on. Yes, okay, mm. they're done. You're, everyone's waiting on uh, you. Mm -hmm. I'm not waiting. There, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We split ours. So you can have one for later. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How is it? That it's so good, they're speechless. Honestly, it is. is really it's good. really nice and light in the flavor and texture. Yeah, like I'm not a huge fan of carrot cake, but Ta it's like balanced goofy well enough. Ta 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 is goofy today. Mm -hmm. Hi, Oliver. I hope you're well. All right. Okay. Ladies' choice this time. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. All right. I see chocolate. Okay. Can't go wrong with the chocolate. two of these as well. So if you really like it, there's an extra. Um, chocolate fashion. So it is a chocolate bar with Italian hazelnuts. <laughs> so far, Italy's like banging. I yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't not yeah. liked a single one yet. It is, it yeah. Is, it is, yeah. Even mm -hmm. flavors that I really don't like, I'm loving. Good job. I told you Italy's the best place. I have a little. I have this theory oh. while they're tasting about oh. countries like Italy and France and Spain. Spain. You know, countries that were like world powers way back when, and then they got stomped on, right? And so they're very mature now. Like they went through their teenage years with temper tantrums and all that stuff, and world domination. And now they're mature and they're all about wine and sex and art and good food, right? Like all those really great things. It's something to be said for growing up as a country, as a human. How's your chocolate? Well, according to Deborah, there. You're welcome. Chocolate looks really good. Oh my. It's great. The haste is like. It's almost funky. Mm-hmm. Got lots of yummies here. Like I'm still, my mouth is still watering. I'm okay. good. Oliver, thanks. Okay, so we did some chocolate. We did some cake. There is a yum bag. Mm. But so let's switch to the lemon and then back to chocolate. How's that? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. These might be not as sweet. They might be savory. Let me try oh them. Oh. oh. Yeah. These are lemon and pepper. So like lemon pepper, right? Lemon pepper's a thing. We eat lemon pepper fish and lemon mm -hmm. pepper whatever. Um, tarallini, tar tarallini. Italy's most iconic snack with a kick. So it's a sweet citrus with a kick of cracked pepper. It's oh, oh. it's oh. oh. So tiny. Mm -hmm. The chocolate was delicious. Oh my. It feels like a pretzel. And the chocolate mm -hmm. was delicious. We've yeah. had a couple of speechless snacks mm -hmm. here. So, eat your snacky there. Mm -hmm. is... Pop that right oh in my. there. Yeah, that's weird. That that got a weird one. really kicks. <laughs> the pepper kicks. There's always one weird one. See, you gotta have something to do for yuckiest yum or weirdest yum. 
It's not really yucky though. You're gonna have a hard time jungle. picking the worst yum tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It hits really hard with the pepper and then the lemon just it comes almost in layers. Hard. Yeah, layers it. Um, Danielle Yoon's you are carrot cake? That's what it says. Question mark exclamation point. That was probably meant to say you don't like carrot cake. I used to like carrot cake when I was very young, and then I grew out of it. Okay. Um, that is my best friend since like kindergarten, okay. so she knows that I have had carrot cake many she likes times. Italian carrot cake, but I don't like it anymore. This is your job. Why am I opening this? Okay, oh. chocolate. Mmm, fancy giant chocolate bar. Fresh raspberries in the chocolate. That needs to go on something, oh. but I don't know what. This needs to go on something. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the mm. lemon pepper? Is it more yeah. savory? Right? I'm is not, it more savory? We have it. Is it more savory or sweet? No, it's more savory. No savory. 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 Yeah, there's, no, there's no sweet in it. Should have had it with the savory things. No. I, I barely see the, the lemon. It's in gold it. evaporate. Yeah. We see, have the the, see the package? It's like all lemony and cutie. I thought it was a cookie, so I thought it was sweet. It turns out. It honestly would be like a good crouton for Got salad. It. Oh, yeah. see? Yeah. Yeah. Salad. I can see that. Okay, so this is a oh, um, raspberry and almond dark chocolate bar. It has fresh raspberries in it. That's a weird to open. Mm -hmm. oh, it's the other way. <laughs> um, like a so oh Italians, on average, buy 12.5 million tons of dark chocolate a year and just 4.5 million tons of milk chocolate. Why is dark chocolate so popular? Because it's yummy and good for you. Mm -hmm. Antioxidants and flavonoids and all that stuff. Stuff. Oh. Drink your, eat your dark chocolate with your red oh wine. God. It'll change your life. Seriously, get some dark chocolate and some really good red and dry it. wine, you Look know, it. and eat them together. You can thank me later. You guys won't see this from this distance, but there's actual raspberry layers oh, with shit. the nut. Come right. on, there, lover. That's really oh. cool. It took us a minute too. Okay. Yeah, it's a trick wrapper. Don't judge. So, Julia, I thought it was going to be their, their famous lemons as well. In mm -hmm. fact, it's so far, there's nothing limoncello flavored in here yet. When Italy is the birthplace of limoncello in Sorrento, Italy. So, maybe there's a, a candy that's lemon. I don't know. How are we doing? I'm not a fan of that. Mm -mm. We are not a fan? Mm -hmm. Oh, we are making faces? How are we doing I want here? this to end. Yeah. <laughs> okay, take a drink. You got a drink, Claude? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. We had yucky chocolate. Mm. Mm. I was gonna say just cool. the opposite. Oh wait. Yeah, it's good at first. No. Nope. Yeah. No, at first you get the raspberries. So I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate. Neither am I. I am. And at first you get the raspberries, and then the nuts, and then you're left with the nuts. dark chocolate. Yeah, it's There's got nuts in here. Yeah, it's got nuts in yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, almonds. It has almonds. almonds. Okay. Right. okay. All right. So. It's three things that I don't We were not for. a fan of that one. Mm -hmm. All right. It's yum bag time, mm -hmm. which is Damo's favorite part of this whole thing. Okay. Oh, okay. So this one is definitely. Oh. oh, that's a Seltz one. You know how we feel about those. So but let's. If you like dark chocolate. Let's do these because they're like mushier first. So mm -hmm. this Everything is. Everything has a strong, strong flavor. Let's do this one first. All right. So this is tiramisu uh, cream milk chocolate balls. Right. Yeah, if, if you like dark chocolate, you'll like it. So tiramisu, right, has lady fingers, mascarpone cheese, cocoa powder, and coffee if you do it right. Ooh. Or some liquor. Uh -huh. I'm excited. Me too. Gonna pop a ball in my mouth. Pop them off. It's good. I'm gonna continue to get the last thing out of my mouth. <laughs> mm. uh, right, Scott? I said the same thing. It's really good for you, but they did not appreciate the dark chocolate. Dark chocolate and red wine together? Two antioxidant flavonoidy things? Like, really? I don't know. I don't know. How are we doing? This one's keeping them quiet, though. It's very mouth uh, gooeyness. It's like, yeah. Uh, as soon as you get it, it explodes and you're just like... Mm -hmm. There's a lot there to process. There's a lot going on. It's right here and there's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's very, very fudgy once it pops in your mouth. Sarah wants chocolate balls. It's really mm -hmm. yummy. Yeah? Yeah. Thalma Law says come get some chocolate balls, Sarah. Yeah, I got a pair. Right here. Right, right. No? Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's do that one. 
Anybody need to swish or anything? It gets to be a lot yeah. with the candy bag. Yeah, we're good. No, all of these are flavorful. Okay. Super flavorful. Yeah, they're so very So this unique. one is lost. Gosh darn it. It's a choco bomb. It's on the opposite page from the bottom corner. All right. Oh, it's milk chocolate with strawberry pop rocks. Yes. Ooh. I was excited Ooh. for this one. This is the Complete reason I got it. Complete with luxurious Italy. Italian cream. Mmm, it pops in your mouth. <laughs> Put it in there. It popped in your mouth. Mm. Mm. This is the ASMR. <laughs> Can you hear the pop? I can hear the pop. I think you can do it on the microphone. Okay. Pop rocks. Mm -hmm. And candy. Mm -hmm. Pop rocks and chocolate, primo. Mm -hmm. I can get with that. Mm -hmm. oh Why? Right? <laughs> it's so good. It's pop rocks. Pop rocks. Yeah, it does. All up in your mouth. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's still going. Mm -hmm. I can feel the pop is going down. Well, the they got a fizzy hard candy as their last one, too. So they're going to go from Pop Rocks to Fizz. Mm -hmm. So they've got right. a Sprite and a hard candy. It's a fizzy lemon candy. Italians are fizz whizzes. I yeah. give them that. It's not wrong. The I mean, the thing is, the Julia, I like all the wine. The old, there's only one wine I don't like, and that's Shiraz or Syrah, depending on where you get it from, right? That, that, that one. It's got black pepper in it and I don't like that black pepper aftertaste. So yes, yeah, we will still be fighting over the wine because I like it all except yeah. Syrah and Shiraz. It's like a giant throat lozenger. Mm -hmm. Does drinking water just make it pop even more? It does make it go quicker. Oh. I don't know about go quicker. Okay, well they're on the next one. You're a step behind. Yeah. yeah sorry ma'am. I was really excited. It was all popping. Okay. Mm. How is this one? It does fizz very, very seldomly. But it's there. Mm -hmm. And it does taste like Sprite. Mm -hmm. I still got a soda pop in there or not. Like, it's pretty enjoyable. Try to keep up. Try to keep up. Mm -hmm. well. Try to keep up. It's like a very degraded version of the mm -hmm. lemon head. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Got it going on? Yeah. So I didn't bite it yet, but there's like a little hole. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's something coming out of there. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's like just seeping out. Oh, a Michelle, bit. no. You can have all the Shiraz. Mm -hmm. Oh, the only wine I don't like, though. Sweet wine, mm. dry wine, red, white, ice wines, ports, love por all of that. Just no Shiraz. Nope. It's a lemon head. Okay. It's a lemon head. <laughs> oh, it's sour. Have to vote, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. All right, so we have the soda candy that they just ate. No. Okay. Still eating. We have the chocolate pop rocks candy. Mm -hmm. The tiramisu. Right? Tiramisu. Um, <clears throat> we have the chocolate hazelnut bar. Nuh -uh. The orange carrot cake. That was delicious. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Uh, the vetoed raspberry chocolate. Everybody wants some dark chocolate. Everybody wants some dark chocolate. Uh, the lemon I mean, pepper. Croutons, um, the cranberry cookies, um, the crisp almond cookies, so the amaretto flavored cookies. We have tomato potato chips. We have punch you in the face truffle potato chips. And we have the bruschetta, bruschetta that blew everybody's mind. Okay, mm -hmm. so, um, I said that. Uh, I did? Mm -hmm. But it was so good. We it was so it good, twice. we should say it twice. Uh, okay. Um, worst yum. Uh, the chocolate. The chocolate. Yeah. Okay, we got a unanimous, the raspberry yeah. chocolate with almonds. So I'm not Yucko. a fan of dark chocolate to begin with, but the raspberry made it very palatable, and it's like 70% cacao, so there's a lot of cacao in that. Yeah, cacao. I'm not that. a fan of dark chocolate yeah. or raspberries. Oh. I'm so okay it was just a no. Me too. And I did not like that. Okay. Okay. Yuck on yeah. the dark chocolate with raspberries. Okay, it's that's our horrible. yuck. It's just, it's just dark chocolate. You're so nice to everyone. Huh? You're so nice. No. It's, it's not just... awful. They're not a terrible person. Yeah. Like, I can see good at what? 
No, it was terrible. Okay, weirdest yum. Mm. Weirdest? Weirdest. Oh, that Pop Rock. That Pop, Pop Rock? Rock chocolate. This one. Oh, come on. Pop Rock and a chocolate? Pop Rock and I think chocolate. I have to go with the soda thing. Just because yeah. of how it fizzed. The fizzy yeah. thing. Because it just fizzed down to like one end. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with the truffle potato chips. Right. Mm-hmm. They are not a bad weird. No. It's just not something I've ever encountered. Exactly. That's what weird is. It doesn't mean bad. No. It just means no. different. No. These are honestly freaking delicious. Because yeah, my weird, I eat that, those things all day. Yeah, right. Uh, mm-hmm. This is just weird. Port and chocolate, Michelle, let's just back up for a second here. Port and chocolate together are delicious. Port is a dessert wine. It goes fantastic with chocolate. Mm-hmm. Okay, second best yum. Second best yum. Keep in mind you need a best yum as well. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go with the Pop Rock chocolate. It's my and second I best yum. Like mm-hmm. Okay, Pop Rocks. Okay, this is a family-friendly show here, sir. Those are just as Okay. You gotta pick one for your second, though. He's polysensory. And say, you've polished this before. He chooses multiple. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Which which I'm about to do. Because these two. Okay, second best yum. These are tied for second best? Yeah. Okay. So that was the. the hazelnut, hazelnut chocolate, chocolate and, and the, the orange, orange carrot cake. Yummy. I'm interested to know what your okay. favorite is. Second best yum. Na, 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 na. I R&P to to Alex Trebek. Yeah, like those. Yeah. Which, those, 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 those two were freaking delicious. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. best yum. Best. Oh, easy, hands Wait, down. This orange carrot cake, hands oh. down. I love okay. to go with these. All right. Because I could literally sit down yeah. and eat an entire bag of them yeah. in mm-hmm. one sitting, no problem. I don't know if this is a snack, though. Like, it's a snack! I don't know. Like, I, I, it I is kind know. of I'm like a mini up. meal. It's I'm, borderline. I'm bougie it up. Bougie it up. <laughs> yeah, it's like borderline right? dried out bagel bite. Yeah. Okay. But like way better in taste. Mm-hmm. Alright, well this has been our Italy Universal Yums Yum Yum Box for the month of November. And it was snacks. yummy. Italian yeah. snacks. We'll be back in December. Last, The last two, two Decembers have been a mix-up of the entire year in a box. So I'm interested to see if that's what they do. Universal Yums, drop us a comment and let us know what's coming next month. Is it a mix-up box or is there a dedicated country? Guess we'll find out. Okay, wrap us up here, sir. All right. Together we'll do better. Why? Why? For we are one. Oh. Also remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, and go to downmomopresents.shop and check us out.